fashionistas come closer let's talk so today let's talk about how you can be more productive as a fashion designer or you're working in the fashion industry or you own a fashion brand how you can be more productive so if you're meeting me for the first time my name is Michael Rupunoro I'm a fashion designer a digital creator and event host if you love content about fashion how to style your dress or either how to grow your fashion brand Maybe you have a fashion brand and you're trying to grow. This is the right place for you. So kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more content like this. So today I'll be sharing tips with you how you can be more effective as a fashion designer. But before we dive into it, as usual, if you have been here for a while, you will know we have to do this. So this is my outfit of the day, sharing the details of my outfit of the day. So today I am wearing a pink suit. It's a pink, a two-piece pink suit from my brand 1219 Styles. And I have matched it with a black shirt, a black pair of loafers, and I've added this white pocket square to it. Because of the details of the white pocket square, it has a black details in it. So I have added it to it to give me my heart print of today. I opted for a black shirt just to tone down the pink color because the pink in itself is quite loud. So all of these details give us the outfit of the day. Have you ever wondered what it really takes to create a stunning garment and it feels overwhelming? Or whether you're a seasoned designer or you're just starting out, today's video is for you. It is packed with essential tips that can boost your productivity and creativity. So let's get into this. Number one tip is planning. You need to be able to plan ahead. So planning is the best way for you to avoid wastage. You need to be able to schedule all your activities and plan way ahead and break things down into smaller sizes. For example, if you have a collection you're working on that you hope to eat the market in three months, the best way for you is to break down the whole process of this your collection break it down to from fabric sourcing to tailoring to down to the point you're going to shoot. One thing I believe so much is that work becomes difficult when there is no plan. So you have to schedule everything from shoots and fittings to rest period. You need to consider the rest period into your plan. Your creative ideas don't come from when you're working. For example, me, there is this time I don't play with, my running time. My running time is that time I take myself away from the work just to relax my brain. It is an activity I enjoy so much. So tip number two. So to be more productive in this industry, you need to address time. It is an overwhelming industry that activities are going on every now and then. Some seasons are more busier than the other, but you need to be able to still plan all the time because you cannot pour from an empty cup. You need to be more refilled. Even God, after creating the whole universe, on the seventh day, the Bible recorded that God rested. So you as human, you need to rest for you to continue to stay afresh. You need to rest, connect with people, watch your favorite shows. These are the places where idea come from. Tip number three, stick with what you know. Once you have mastered a particular technique, stick to it. What worked for other people might not work for you. The internet is full of a lot of advices, a lot of information here and there. As much as it is good for us to access new information, it is as well important for us to stick to what we know that is already working for us. To resist the urge to chase every new trend you see online. Although our stories might be similar, but it is entirely unique to us. What works for A might not work for B. What works for this designer might not work for another designer. But you can only get all of this information and access this information to enhance it, to make it better, to make your own formula and your own technique to make it better. So as a designer, one thing you want to do is to ensure that you master your technique and you stick to it. Tip number four, I can't scream this enough. Collaboration. Collaboration is what makes the world work. You, as a designer, you need to be able to collaborate. You need to be able to hire a team, to have a team around you. I do not do everything all by my own self. I have an extended team that has been my own support system, that has been able for me 
to fully focus on my own area of strength. Like my granddad will always say that, we are all equally poor, but we are not equally talented. We all have our own area of strength. So what you want to do as a business person, most importantly as a fashion designer, is that you want to look for other people's skills that complement your own. For example, if you are a fashion designer, you do not know how to write. It makes perfect sense if you hire someone who is a good writer, a good storyteller that can help you tell your story. Maybe what you know how to do best is you designing the clothes, you coming up with the sketches, or you being able to win new customers. So you want to partner or collaborate with other people that can bring about your dream. You can't do it all alone. You have to invest in talent, you have to invest in other people that you can bring resources together to make this dream work. One of the business I created when I was younger was called Image Kitchen. And the idea of this business was for us to help photographers who were having difficulties with their post-production to help them ease their stress, helping them out with their post-production. In as much I would say that we did well with the business, but now I wish I knew the power of collaboration back then because I was the same person doing a whole lot of the business activities. I was the driver, I would be the one going to the printing press to go and print, I was the editor editing the images. We had a whole lot of top clientele. I had photographers to president, I had photographers to different governors as clientele. I was the only one abhorring different photographers pain point. And with time, I got overwhelmed. Before I knew, I started losing customers. If I could go back in time to go and correct something, one thing I could have corrected is for me to have a team around me that could work on the team and collaborate with other people. So this is why I am so really, really big on collaboration. Lastly, you need to be patient. Trust me, every work you're putting into your brand is a seed that you're planting. You're watering the seed every step by step. Everything you're doing, you're planting it. Even if you feel you're not in the right direction, so far you are working on that brand. You are pouring, you're nurturing a seed. Be patient with every stage of your work. If you start feeling frustrated, take a step back, take a break. Trust me, it is not going to happen in one day. You have to be patient with every part of the process. Enjoy the process. As I have once said, that life is in season. So you need to take pride in the process. You need to take pride in where you are at the moment. It is very, with the social media and everything happening in the world, it is very easy to overwhelm ourselves with other people's sources when we are not yet experiencing sources. So you want to be patient and you don't want to overwhelm yourself. Your only comparison should be where your brand was yesterday and today. And trust me, if you look deeply and you reflect, most times we're doing better than our yesterday. Before you know, we have the fruit of what you've been planning. All your seeds are coming together. I hope with all of these tips, I've been able to help you with this few tips. Five essential tips to enhance your productivity in the fashion industry. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your fellow designer. See you next time.